Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Lauren Conrad is looking fabulous on the cover of Glamour Magazine. We have red carpet looks from the Academy of Country Music Awards and the Kids' Choice Awards. And hamburger eye makeup. And that's all this week on The Hot List. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Mary. And this, this is, is The Hot, Hot List. And our first story this week comes from LaurenConrad.com, where she reveals her May issue of Glamour Magazine, where she is topless on the cover. She's topless, people. And she looks good. She looks fantastic. And I feel like we've been talking about a lot of naked celebrities lately, but this is my favorite. Yes, she has that beautiful hair and that good golden tan. I just, everything just natural and beautiful and glowing. It's good. It's so good. It's very 1960s Bridget Bardot, mm -hmm. perfect for summer. And uh, you're it. looking good, girl. Keep it up. Let us know what you guys think of Miss Lauren Conrad's topless cover in the comments below. Coming in at number two is the accusation made by Karl Lagerfeld that the famous little pink suit that Jackie O wore the day President Kennedy was assassinated is actually a fake Chanel. So you fashion historians will be thrilled to know that this is actually considered a line-by-line -line copy by Oleg Cassini. And the story is that Jackie Kennedy wanted her Chanel, but she also wanted to shop in the United States. So rather than send her money to France, she opted to have Chanel fly all of the materials in and under Chanel's direction have this copy of a 1961 Chanel runway look made just for her in New York. Yeah, clever, 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 mm -hmm. Miss Jackie. A way to get your Chanel even when it's made in the USA. So do you guys consider this a fake? Let us know in the comments below. Third on our list is women rocking the menswear suit look. Which is a fabulous, classic look that's never going to go out of style, people. Very, very rock and roll. And especially when you do it in fun prints, colors, textures. Elizabeth Olsen rocked the velvet. Big fan. Good luck. Loved it. Elle McPherson's looking fabulous, as always, of course, also in this look. And I think our favorite part of the suit is that you can wear it as a jacket, mm -hmm. you can wear the pants, you can wear them together, and have a little power look going on. This is definitely a look you guys want to invest in. Let us know what you guys think of this trend. Send us a tweet at youlookhot, hashtag hotlist. Coming in at number four in our countdown is the Academy of Country Music Awards. And this was no hillbilly fashion parade. No, they all looked great. And I think my very favorite was probably Taylor Swift. I would have to agree with you. She looked fabulous in the Jay Mandel column dress. Mm -hmm. And you know who else looked great? Was Carrie Underwood. I love her. She always looks good. I mean, the tan alone. Come oh. on. We also got to have a little bit of fun over at the Kids' Choice Awards mm -hmm. where things got a little bit funkier in the fashion department. Katy Perry was wearing a slime-inspired bustier with matching slime green shoes. And you know what? Fashion critics were pretty hard on her. And I kind of like, come on, give her a break. She's going to get slimed anyways. Right? But Selena Gomez was totally killing it in her two-piece Dolce & Gabbana sequined little outfit. She is so cute. We love you. Team, Team Selena. Selena. So leave a video response in the comments below and let us know your red carpet commentary. So number five on our list, which is last but certainly not least, no. is the fun makeup from a Burger King ad campaign from Burger King in Netherlands. And it literally is burger eye makeup. Yeah, it is. And just looking at it, I mean, they did such a great job. It makes me hungry. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I want to oh. do like, like, do you have like Taco Bell and Pizza Hut one? Like maybe like Nacho Supreme on this side and like breadsticks on this side. Oh, or I could do like ice cream, like mm -hmm. with a little cherry on top, and it's like my eye cream Sunday. Mm, I like it. So send us your photos of all your crazy eye makeup mm -hmm. at youlookhot.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's countdown of the Hot List. And make sure you check out youlookhot.com this week for a chance to enter our giveaway for Rebecca Minkoff tote bag and Deborah Lippman spring nail polishes. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And as always, subscribe, like this video, and make sure you leave your fashion and beauty stories in the comments below because we want to know what you guys are interested in. Mm -hmm. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter! Bye! Bye.